Kevin, Tony, Eric, brain story, amazing performance, and great to have you back here at KCRW. Yes. Good to be back. Yes. Glad to be here. Yes. It's been about, um, I can't believe it, four years since the last time you were with us. Yes, true. What? That was like early 2020. I think it was around February or March. It was March. I just saw it. March. Okay. And we all know what happened in another part of March of 2020. (sighs) Yes. Kind of wild, right? And so much has happened for you since then. I mean, I, I know you were saying like, you've been a band for 10 years, but I also feel like the last four years have been kind of more warp speed as far as your like progress as a band definitely yeah Yeah, for sure yeah i mean you've created your own studio you've toured with other artists you have your new album out now yes when you reflect back on that time how do you feel different like mentally creatively spiritually yeah um, compared to now it was it was such a weird thing because the timing of it we had just put out our first record in 2019 of november And then so like we didn't really get to tour or do anything with that record because then 2020 March, it it all got shut down. So it was kind of scary at first. We're like, what? Damn. (laughs) Like we didn't get to do anything. But, you know, I, I, you know, it was always just one of those things where it's like, it's going to happen. We're still alive and we're not going to stop playing music, you know. And that's what we did. We hunkered down and. He built a studio. Eric built a studio. What does that mean when you say he built it? Were you like hammering? Yeah, he, yeah, he was hammering. Yeah, screwing yeah. into the walls, <laughs> putting wires. That, yeah, buying old equipment and stuff, and just like yeah, I built like shelves and things and little things to hold the the gear and kind of just organize it all. And was it in a like a studio space in somebody's home or? It's like this uh, shared space. Nice. It's a lockout in, in studio in, in Long Beach. Yeah. Undisclosed Long Beach. location. Oh. <laughs> Un- undisclosed, edit, yeah. Edit that no, out. we don't need the address or anything. <laughs> so it's 531. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So Eric came through, yeah. knows how to do even more than play drums, amazingly. Oh, for sure. And, um, and so then you got in there and you just started getting to work right away? Yeah, we, we were super inspired by working with El Michael's Affair in New York and seeing how they're getting like such a great sound out of that studio. Yeah with analog stuff and yeah we were just he was the most geeked you know Eric yeah he just went full (laughs) full into it yeah well I think I was like coming out of like during COVID I was kind of scared so I was like what are we gonna do like yeah we can't play that was kind of like our bread and butter was playing live Mm. so I was like well we can't do that so let's let's learn how to record you know Mm -hmm. so that was kind of like where that came from. Yeah. Your new album is called Sounds Good. Yeah. And um, <laughs> you laughed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> it's, a big, it's kind of a big joke that it's called Sounds Good. Well, I mean, it's interesting because it's like such a basic sounds good, yeah, you know. Sounds good, yeah. yeah, sounds good. Yeah. And so, I mean, but you could take it a lot of different ways. I was thinking about it. So I was like, okay, first at face value, it's like maybe that's how Brain Story wants their album to sound. It sounds good. Yeah. And then I was like, that's a very... California infused things to say to very relaxed like right? very relaxed yes yeah. I was like this True. that's kind of the perspective that I was taking which is like we here in Southern California everything sounds good yeah sounds right good. you say yeah. it like, yeah like 10 times a day without it, even knowing it yeah exactly yep. so yeah. I mean what it what what was the do you have an idea of what it means or is it just like yeah, a, yeah, yeah it's a joke. What it means. literally we we're at the studio we had just finished tracking everything it was like kind of a two-year process about Mm -hmm. we went to new york did it with l michaels we got half of it done then we had to wait a whole nother year to go back because we were touring and stuff and we got it all done finally and we were just like kicking around ideas you know um you might have to edit this out one of them was like ghost jizz or something like that oh no we're keeping that in (laughs) okay good 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 good. i want to keep it in uh uh yeah halloween special yeah exactly (laughs) ghost jizz Um, yeah, it was, yeah, we were kicking down like the most stupid ideas. And then it kind of was like, uh, so it kind of came out was like the baseline of us knowing when we're in the studio with Leon, like we do a whole take, you know, and then he's like, no, do another one, you know, and then we do another one. But after every take, we're like, "How, how does that sound? And then every time when it was good, Leon would press the little button and go, sounds good. (laughs) <laughs> so we're like that's okay you know and that's all you get from him yeah he's not going like wow you were on the guitar yeah. right now that would sit like he's not yeah he doesn't tell you much you <laughs> even making even making like demos and sending it to him 
he's not going to give you much like He'll give you the sounds good, and that's in a text. It's either nothing or sounds it's, good. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing that's or sounds good. <laughs> with, so nothing is not a good sign. Nothing's yeah, not a good sign. Yeah. Nothing, you're like, try again. That's yeah. so funny. I mean, that makes sense for him because he's so prolific as far as, like, the yeah. output. So it's cutting away the fat and all the conversation. And then you can make more music, right? That's, that's how he works, too. That's it's his production cutting style. Cutting away the fat. Yeah, sure. yeah. Um, that's great. So... Speak, we're talking about California, and uh, you y'all proudly rep uh, Rialto, California, much like uh, director writer John Singleton is from there. Yes. Rap yep. group JJ Fad, yes. all hailing from Rialto. There's actually I was looking it up. There's some incredible like sports players, different yep, football teams and stuff. Yeah, some talented, some actors. Yeah. Um, and you started with the opening number, Rialto wins, yes. giving us a little taste of the Rialto. Breeze the essence in the air, and that's the closing number on your new album. Yes. Um, is there anything that you think is like specifically Rialton that has made it into your music? <laughs> is that what y'all say? Y'all say uh, that, right? Rialtonian. Rialtonian. Yeah. Uh, yes. Rialtonian. The esteemed Rialtonians yes. yeah. of the Inland Empire that has no emperor. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> so what's what's the Rialton essence? Um. I think it's an essence that doesn't have borders. Mm. Uh, we we grew up in a place, there's not many venues, um, not much opportunity at all for anybody being artistic. You yeah. kind of have to create your own. And so we grew up in a garage, me and my brother, getting stoned with our friends and composing on the piano while our other friends are like painting like huge canvas paintings. Oh, wow. And uh, we all kind of, cultivated our creativity and our just consciousness in general with our friends so yeah. because we were in a place where no one's can make it or look cool or there's no standard for anything i think that really influenced uh me and my brother's way of like playing and yeah. creating music yeah so you created your own art community it sounds like yeah, yeah. a little artist colony yeah oh, that's yeah. nice sure. and uh, and you are brothers as you mentioned yes um who's older Guess. You are? I would have guessed yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like most people would do that, right? Everybody always does. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What, what's your sign? Cancer. Cancer. Oh, season, right? Cancer season right now? It's cancer yeah. season. It <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, cancer. What about you? I'm um, Aquarius. Oh, I am too. Oh. Amazing. Vibes. Okay, this is making sense. Uh, my sister is a cancer, so I have I understand like the oh, you know the, the, the cancer aquarium collaboration. <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, <laughs> so you you two started out as brothers, kind of a musical family. You also mentioned your grandfather during yes. the set, yeah. who I know passed away recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was he uh, a musician around you as well too? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. he was a woodwind musician, mm. but he didn't like perform or anything. We it was only until me and him like learned how to play jazz, and we could like basically he would just be like, oh, I got this song. It's called Wood Chipper's Ball. Here it goes. <laughs> and he plays some, like, you know, Woody Shaw number. Oh, wow. We would just have to, like, figure, figure it out. out what he, how to back him up. Oh, oh, sorry. Figure out how to back him up. And, so uh, you were, like, that was your first try at being a backing band, kind of. Kind of, well, yeah. Kind of, yeah. For, <laughs> for, for someone who was just, like, here's the melody, you do the rest. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Learned uh, a lot from him in that way. So lovely. And then you brought in your brother, Eric. Yes. yes. Where did you guys brother. find each other? at um, com community college studying jazz. Nice. So this band also is like all of everybody, even including Diego and uh, his name is Taylor, but we call him Truck. Okay. Um, oh. We're, it's basically <laughs> like we all are just <laughs> jazz nerds. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the love of jazz, we make this music so we could jazz all over mm -hmm. the place. Uh, ghost jazz. Ghost jazz, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on that beach optimo all of a sudden with you guys. <laughs> um, yeah. And then you mentioned your uh, newer brother, Leon Michaels. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. Who, That's our dad. Yeah. What you say, your dad? Yeah, yeah. second oh. dad. Second dad. Second yeah. dad. Oh, okay, Studio cool. dad. Studio Studio, dad. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Studio dad. And then um, Studio dad has also worked with or has an album coming out producing Claro, who's yes. also on your album on the yes. track Holding oh, yeah. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. adding some really nice textures to that one. Yes, yes. Was were, Did you bring Claro into the mix or was it vice versa? Talk about um, that. I'm sorry, I'm burping. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, Claro was just like kind of working with Leon and started just hanging out. And pretty much that's about it. Like she was just, 
when we were coming to town to record, she would pull up and just like vibe out, hang out. And then we were just kind of like, this needs a female vocal, mm. Claire. And she was just right there and nailed it. It was fun. Nice. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I'm really, we heard, you know, a single from her so far oh, and I can't sick. wait to hear the oh, uh, man. Leo Michaels. Are you all on that her album as well? Or? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. You never Got know. To hear yeah. Song. No. Really. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, I googled Brain Story, um, mm. and I came across a six-part miniseries released in 2000 by the BBC, revealing the basic <laughs> yeah. brain processes that yeah. lie behind all aspects of human experience. Yeah. Um, how similar to the meaning behind your group name is that? That's pretty, that's pretty spot pretty, on, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Can you send me that? Yeah. <laughs> that's our new bio, actually. <laughs> Just email it. Um, I'm also really curious, uh, the album cover when I first saw it, I was like, oh, the dudes are dogs. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, playing pool. Yeah. But, it, but it, it had a nostalgic memory within me. I was like, okay, I've seen that classic painting of like dogs playing poker. Yeah. And then I think there was another one of dogs playing pool. And then... And then I thought th there's this uh, David Bowie album cover, uh, what's it called? Diamond Dogs from 1974, yes. where he's like half dog, half man. Yes. Um, and then I was like, well, yeah. And then Snoop Dogg, doggy style. He's like the dog out on the town mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. deeds. Yeah. Um, is it, I mean, is this like a, a Southern California thing that you're, it, that it you're inspired by? It is definitely an homage to Snoop. I yeah. kind of like, I wanted it to be more cartoony at first. And I worked on this cover with the uh, other head of the label, Danny Akalepz. Um, and uh, he was like, nah, it's a little too on the nose with the West Coast, you know, vibe. Yeah. And I was like, cool, you know. And then he knows that I'm like a pool fanatic. I'm a billiards fanatic. Mm. And I love playing. And uh, so he was like, why don't you just do, you know, you guys as the dogs and you guys are playing pool. And I was like, oh, my God, I love that. <laughs> And uh, that's kind of how it like, was born. And I started doing research. And we got a really great airbrush artist to do the cover. Um, his name is escaping me at the moment. Greg. Greg Lefevre. He's mm. an OG. Oh, wow. Um, and, and we didn't really give him much direction. We sent him a, fo like a, a photo of us like doing, you know, in the pose mm -hmm. and at a pool <laughs> hall. And he just went to town with some crazy like 1980s Animorphs like Looks like prosthetic makeup on us, and it looks really <laughs> strange. Yeah, but it is. I really like it. It like, is I strange. Really think it's weird. Like for Halloween, you could dress like yeah, that. Yeah, I really want to. If anybody's a special effects artist yeah. out there, yeah, we should do a bang Halloween our line. show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that'd be bang cool. You line. could be the dogs you yeah. always wanted to be. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, so okay. So the other thing that I think is is really phenomenal about you all is you transition so seamlessly from like supporting an artist and really making them greater and highlighting what's great about them when you perform live or on recordings as well. But, um, uh, and so I'm thinking of like Lady Ray, you performed with her a lot and toured yeah. and I can just hear since last time we've heard you perform like, or every time I hear you just, um, your improvement and, and, I mean, I don't want to say, like, improvement sounds like there was something wrong. But, you know, you just yeah. keep growing in yeah. your artistry. Yeah. Um, and I'm curious what, in touring and backing all these other fantastic artists, what you gain from that experience? Um, I think it just really solidifies our musicianship as a band. Yeah. Um, me and my brother, we just always were playing music or something, doing something with music since... We we're about 13 or 14 years old and you know we also played in rhythm sections of our friend brian edwards or we had another friend uh marcello that that we would jam with or you know back in certain yeah. situations and it's really just an extension of what we've been doing for a long time yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so you know sometimes you grow doing the same thing by repeating um, yeah, the muscles getting built. Yeah, you know, we've played also for friends' weddings. We've played okay. at funerals. Like, we've backed up my dad and uh, our Theo doing gospel music. Whoa. So, like, all of those experiences um, kind of shape us as musicians when we're backing people up. Do they give you tips, your dad and your uncle? My dad will give me singing tips, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's he got to be like, good. He's a gospel singer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he, oh. he put me on to like the, <laughs> on YouTube, there's Michael Jackson warm ups, like with his coach. Oh, wow. And he put me onto that. And that actually like really like got my singing pretty good. Like, do you have your f- favorite um, uh, situation? Like, do you, would you, do you rather do your music, play with somebody else, play at a wedding? Um, is there a favorite element in which you like I to I mean, be? I think ours is the funnest just because, I don't know, it's it's like our playground, you know? Somebody else is, you, you're playing for them, you know, like someone like Lady Ray, like, you know, we can't go crazy. Mm-hmm. We can't play all psychedelic and, you know, jazz, astral jazz, you know? <laughs> We have to keep it tight, and uh, that's great too. But uh, it's all fun. But we like to go to to outer space. Most yeah, of definitely the time. our easiest. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it's fun to play other music too. Yeah, it's fun to play. Mm-hmm. I don't know, at least for me, um, we've even played like cumbia and stuff as like a rhythm section. True. With, nice. Uh, Eduardo Arenas. Yeah. And from Chicano Batman. So yeah. we've done all kinds of stuff and. Sometimes it's good to play some else. Yeah. Yeah. And you have some shows coming up in Southern California yes. since we're here. Yes. Um, opening for, you know, some pretty good artists. No Marcos Valley yeah, yeah. and Az- Azim. I'm always like with the Brazilian. Azimuth. Azimuch. 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 Yes. Yeah. yes. Those are happening uh, September 17th at the Ford in LA, September 19th at the Music Box mm-hmm. in San Diego. Um, those are going to be some incredible shows. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm You're excited about yeah. that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be so good. We're so looking forward. I mean, I know the next album, you're just going to take it to the next level we're as you've done so far. And I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe you'll no, get inspired. Yeah. I really, no, we'll I already see. listen to a lot of Brazilian music. Yeah. 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 Amazing. For sure. Brain story. It's been so much fun having you here. Yes, yes. And um, yeah, stay in touch yes, we with will. everything that you do. Yes, definitely. We'll be back. <laughs> Loved it. All Thank right. You. Thanks so much, Thank y'all. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.